Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. I am Denise Arminio. I'm emotion code, certified emotion code, body code, and genius biofeedback practitioner. And I am also here with Claire McIntyre today, who is going to help um, answer questions that come through on the chat. So I am so happy to see everybody today, and I hope you have all had a great week. And today I thought um, I can pick a volunteer. If there is someone who has not been a volunteer in today's Thursday Live in a while, I would happy to do that. And I thought I would work with the general overview and just um, different ways that we may be able to uh, use the information in there a little differently. And so let me just start sharing my screen. Give me one second here. And is there anyone that wants to be a volunteer that's new that has never volunteered before? Um, you can just put your name in the chat. Anyone? Anyone? No volunteers? I, I'm going to see some new people in here. Should I? <laughs> Let's see. Um, or we can, we could, oh. Marie, sure, I would love to have you. Um, let me just type your name in here. And Marie is a new a newbie to the Genius family. So welcome, welcome, welcome. We're so happy to have you here. Um, and I just need to put your birth date in. You could either type your birth date in the chat or un um, unmute yourself and tell me what your birth date is. Uh, March 16th. Seventy seven. Excellent. Okay. So we have Marie's name in here. And are you on the video? Oh, wait, I can't. There you are, I can see you now. Um, so we have entered our client's name in here because she is a new client, um, or we could access the client records and grab the name from the already um, clients that have been um, entered. So now we'll just hit continue with new analysis. And we can just add here, let, I'll put today's date. And what would you like to work with today? What is, um, what issues would you like to work with? Um, energy, we can work on, yeah, energy. Energy, okay, so you're feeling a little like tired yeah, I got a lot of customers tonight. So. <laughs> okay, well, let's see what we can do there. So on a scale of zero to 10, 10 being like extremely tired and wiped out, how would you rate um, how four. you're feeling? A four? Okay. And is there anything else? No, I'm feeling pretty good, actually, no. Okay, awesome. But we can always put weight loss. It's always something I want to work on. You can always put what? Uh, weight loss. Oh, right. And um, vision. Oh yeah. Okay, we can we can put that in there as as well. Okay, so I'm just gonna hit begin on the bottom. Our focus will be on your fatigue because I think you will um, notice that more immediate than obviously something yep. like weight loss or your vision. So um, I will um, just add, I'll say three, two, one, begin. And then if you can just repeat your full name and the vowels, A-E-I-O-U, until the 15 second counter gets to zero, that would be great. You ready? 
Three, two, one, begin. Marilyn Dano, A E I O U, A E I O U, A E I O U, A E I. Perfect. So now I am just going to um, click on the bottom left voice harmonics. Now, again, you may not hear this so clearly um, going through the Zoom, but um, rest assured that the frequencies are going through the quantum field and you will be getting them. But the voice harmonics um, work somewhat um, like a homeopathic would, as like cancels out like. Um, and this is the translation of what you just said turned into a frequency. Okay, and then um, I just wanted to point out for anybody um, who is on the call today or um, or um, as someone um, who is watching on the replay, that up top where it says import client voice and picture, this is for anyone who you may be um, running a session on if the client has the quanta capsule, you can upload their voice and their picture from here, provided that they used their quanta capsule app on their phone and uploaded their picture and their voice, and then they send it to you. And this is how you would upload that. Um, so then we can just click next. <laughs> Okay, and then I'm just gonna take a screenshot of your picture here. And since I just um, took the picture and entered it into my iPhotos, I can bring it up as an existing photo. And there you are. And now we just hit begin analysis. And I'll hit continue. Energetic affirmation. This is a great way if you're working with um, affirmations on a daily basis, you can um, type in what the affirmation is that you want to work on. And then the genius translates that written text into a frequency. And that frequency is then overlaid onto all the frequencies that you run throughout that session. So the frequency I like to use, and of course, when you're doing your own session, you can use whichever one that you dislike, but I like to use all energies are trans muted into the frequency of your love. And so it is okay. So it's as easy as just typing it in and clicking okay. And then the genius does the rest of the work for you. So here we have the three categories, body, bio, field, and mind. This banner for custom libraries will appear if you have either created libraries or purchased libraries. Um, and after I hit begin analysis, the genius will then order these top three um, categories in the order in which um, is the priority for you to work. So I'm just gonna click on begin analysis. Mm -hmm. Okay, so just briefly for those of you that don't know or that may be new or um, watching this on the replay, the genius uses the numerical value system and the values range from zero to 777. The lowest range, uh, which goes 
from zero to 200 is represented by the color blue and items in this range are observed to be chronic energetic disturbances, which means you've had them for a longer period of time. It can also be referred to as under energy or um, stagnant energy. The next range goes from 201 to 450. That's represented by the color green. And from there we go to 451 to 599, and that's represented by the color yellow. I would say that the items that are in this range that are yellow would be, um, these are the most balanced items. So um, that's kind of where you wanna see things is to be in this yellow range. And from there, we then go to the highest range, which goes from 600 to 777. And that's represented by the color red. And these items are observed to be acute energetic disturbances, meaning they're happening right now in the present. It can also be referred to as heat or inflammation or over energy. It is important to note that um, the genius is not diagnostic in the allopathic sense. It is just detecting energetic disturbances. So um, it does not mean if uh, pathogens or viruses or bacteria show up that you are sick at the moment. Um, and also, as many of you know, we do have healthy and good bacteria that we want. So it could be that the healthy bacteria is out of balance and we're exposed to viruses all the time. And if our immune system is working, we're not going to be affected by any of those. So um, I just wanted to mention all that. Um, on the left-hand side, you will see these down arrows. And that is just to signify that if you click on the line, that there is more information. You can also click on the arrow itself. The information is just presented differently. So you won't see the items um, sorted by color. Uh, it is a nice place to go to though, if you want to um, click on this little like magnifying glass and it will give you a brief description of what the item is. So in this case, Bach flower essences, if you are wondering what chestnut bud is, a very brief, um, description is a lack of lessons learned. So Maria, I don't know if that makes sense to you, but that is coming up. It is also coming up today as red. So again, it is, it is just out of balance today for you. If you wanted to look then down at, um, Mimulus and look at this description, the, a description is fear of failure, and that would be of more chronic. Again, but I'm not sure if that resonates for you or not, but that is what is that frequency is um, showing up there. So now we can just close this. And um, the next place I want to look for, for you is to go to the aura. And we can click on this, and this is how we get your um, beginning aura picture. So I'm just going to hit begin. And okay. So we can see the aura here. We can also hide the avatar so we can get a look at what the center is. And so basically what you're looking for is bright, vibrant colors. Um, technically you would want to be able to ideally see one color, but still with all the different layers, that would be like ideal. Um, but we still want to see bright, vibrant colors, almost like neon or fluorescent colors. The more light in the color, the better. The darker the color is like having dark darkness in there. Um, and when you see the pale or blurry or 
like a grayish color in it. It is just um, a sign of stagnant energy or some negative energy that's in there. We can then also switch to the old view. And one of um, the nice things that we can see here very easily is if uh, you're grounded and we want to, and we can tell that if all the corners are filled with color, if they're not, chances are more than likely you're not fully grounded or in your body. So that would be something to work on. And again, you still want bright, vibrant colors. Um, the next thing I'd like to do when I'm working um, in a session is to prime the body, or you can think of it as like um, working with the foundation. So you um, want to bring in all these frequencies that will help set you up when you bring in other frequencies that you're in the best possible shape to take these um, new frequencies in. So to do that, I have a library that I like to use. However, if you do not have this library in the BioTrain, um, the priming vessel library, I recommend that you add all the items from the bio field and then from body add in vitamins, amino acids and minerals into the main whole tray. But since I have already a library prepared, I'm just gonna go there. And we can begin it. I have a lot of libraries. That's why it takes a little bit of time. Okay. So this little um, arrow in the center of the screen, just below the quick zap, if you press on that, it brings up a, a pretty advanced search bar. So if you go to like the magnifying glass, I can enter in the library that I'm looking for, um, which is in the bio terrain um, master branch bundle. And the library is the vessel priming frequencies. So I can just drag and drop that whole library title and it will bring in all the contents that is in that panel. And if I were to click on the main whole tray, this up arrow, you can see that it has added all the, the items in there. I'm going to hit the, the play button on the, all the way to the right of the main whole tray. And that will bring us to the progressive insights where we can then begin analysis again. And what the genius does in this progressive insights is it is looking at the relationship of all these items together. So there may be items that were in the yellow range or maybe higher up in the green range that you wouldn't normally think to run those frequencies, but when they're all together, now they're reacting and not as balanced as they were when they weren't, when they were just that item looked at your energy field. Off by okay, so the first thing I like to do is put the timer on one minute and select all, and I'll run all the frequencies for one minute. Okay, 
Okay, so you did great. You have a 54% rectification, which is wonderful. When we look at the harmony, alignment, and energy flow, we want to see this to be within like 20%. And you are within that. Um, oh, no, you're a little bit over that. So we could run all of these for another minute or so, or maybe 30 seconds. So why don't we just try that? We'll run all of them again for 30 seconds and to see if we can get these a little bit closer. Okay. Um, my yawn is my little intuitive tell sign <laughs> to stop. I know not all of you would have that, but I'm not yawning because I'm bored. <laughs> that is my um, body's way of interacting with me to tell me that it was okay to stop it at that point. So um, here, the percent rectification is 47%. We're at 38. So Again, it's not, it's a slightly over 20%, but it's close in there. And this is a demo. So we're going to leave it like that. So now the next thing I would do is to rescan. And then I'm just going to click Lowe's. And you can see that those are selected. And I'm going to work with the lows for 30 seconds. So I'll just hit play here. Okay, so again, we're a little bit um, below the 40%. I'm going to deselect these and go to the highs and select them and see if that can um, just trigger things to get going a little bit. So I'm just going to run the highs for 30 seconds. If you have any water, maybe you want to drink some water. It could be that sometimes that helps. I know that you're getting your water, but um, you did have a 69% rectification here. And now these, um, the harmony alignment and energy flow are much closer together. So that's great. I'm just going to add the lows now to the bunch since the low was a little bit not up to 40%. And we can run both the highs and the lows together um, for 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. So um, that's at 31%. Again, it's 31% is still a nice movement. It's not exactly above 40%, but it's still good. And for demo pur purposes, um, I'm going to clear these out. And then the focus where I want to work a little bit today and um, one of my um, 
favorite things to work with is the general overview. And again, the general overview will take all the line items from the system overview page and from all um, custom libraries that you have, and it orders it in, um, in chronological order. So it is a great way to see your entire, the entirety of your database in chronological order. And why I feel this is so important is because when you're doing energy healing of any kind and you're looking for the underlying cause or the root cause, anything can cause anything. So um, there may be items that you didn't even think had to do with the particular issue that you're working on and it could in fact be the underlying cause. So I'm just gonna click on the system overview, which brings us to the general overview. So um, you can see now that all the libraries are in here. So the general overview is gonna look, um, you're gonna wanna work with it differently depending on really how many libraries you have. So. For someone like me who has so many libraries, it's a little, it becomes more difficult to work with a lot of the reds and the blues just because it's very tedious to drag and drop a lot of the lines. We have the benefit that if we press on the plus button, we could add the top 50 and we could add the bottom 50. And that certainly helps. But again, it doesn't, um, it doesn't, give you, um, it's harder to get much broader than that because if I added all of the reds, there would be like 5,000 items um, there. But I'm just gonna work with using the plus 50 and the bottom 50 and then we'll switch it up a little bit to see what happens. Um, we can also press on this zero to 100 and it's gonna flip the view it would take me a while to scroll all the way to the bottom. So this is a nice feature now to be able to see all the low valued items, which are the items that are actually more chronic. So you can see the um, essential oil of cardamom. Um, pathogens is a stress for you today. Vitamin B6. Um, some insidious uh, enslavement matrix um, some issues that have to do with your adrenals, some sleep, some allergies. So we have those all in the mix. Um, and now we can hit remove libraries. And now it just leaves me with the items on the system overview page. So I can again, click the top 50 and the bottom 50. And now I have close to 200 items, there must be some from the system overview page that were also high, either high up in the reds or in the blues that um, we don't duplicate it. So I'm just gonna go to play again here and hit begin. <laughs> and again, I'm gonna stick to the same sort of protocol. I'm gonna put the timer on one minute and select all and hit play. Question Jennifer in one second when this is done. Okay. Okay, great. So it was a 60% rectification. And then again, harmony, alignment, and energy flow are um, 
slightly over 10% different. So that's excellent. Um, I just want to answer Jennifer's question. She says, have you ever added all the items before, like the whole 5,000? Um, and if so, what was the outcome? So no, I never have added 5,000 and I wouldn't recommend it. I just think you would be totally like overstimulating the body. I just, I, it's my belief and, um, just to be more gentle on the body than to add that many. So, um, I haven't, but for most people, the all probably won't be 5,000 items. Um, I mean, and it, it would only really be that case if, if you have a lot of items. So, and we can look at it a little bit, um, in just a minute, I'll get to that. So you did really great here. Um, we can now unselect all of them and rescan. Mm -hmm. And now we can select the lows and put the timer on 30 seconds. I also just want to um, point out again that more isn't always better. So short bursts of running the frequencies can actually be really effective um, over running it for a long periods of time. So um, that is why I'm only running some of them for 30 seconds. And here you could see I have the lows selected. Marie, do you have any issues with eggs that you're aware of? Nope, but I just ate uh, egg. <laughs> Okay, so here we're at 30%. Again, I'm just going to switch up and select the highs for 30 seconds. And I'll just move so you can see what some of those highs are. Okay, so great. You had a 44% rectification here and you're within that 20% range um, on the top. So that's great. So now I'm going to go back to the general overview. I'm going to clear the main hold tray here. And so I'm going to, I still don't have my libraries in there. So we're just working with the frequencies um, on the system main page. Now this time I might want to just add all the blues and see how many frequencies that adds to the tray. So you can see by just, um, adding the blues, we're at 208 items. So you may want to then just go back to um, start a progressive insights and work with, you know, the what's given you on that main page and work with just the blues that may be contributing at the root cause level to anything. So I'm just going to, again, put the timer to one minute and select begin. Now. <laughs> and select all.
Okay, so it was a 28% rectification and then the energy flow and harmony, there's a bit of a gap in there. Um, so I am gonna, I'll go now and just work with some of the lows, but I do wanna just point out, remember that all the items that are in the tray right now were blues and more chronic. So even though we're in progressive insights right now and it's ordered it into your highs, mediums and lows, these were all pretty important because they were all blue. So you may want to run them, um, all of them, you know, until you get above 40% because they were all already in that blue area. But sometimes you need to break it down into smaller groups to get a little bit more movement. So I'm just going to deselect all of them. I'm going to put my timer on 30, uh, on zero minutes which will allow me to play them for 30 minutes and I'll just select the low frequencies here. Okay, so that's still low. So, you know, this is telling me that these are a little bit more problematic, right? They're not <laughs> they're not wanting to budge so easily. So we could run it for longer, or we can deselect the lows and select the highs and try working with them for 30 seconds. Okay, so here you did better. And then we can deselect this and potentially try working with the lows again. And voila, you're at 52% here and it's all very tight with your harmony alignment and energy flow. So that's excellent. So now um, I'm going to back out and go back to the general overview. I am going to clear all the items here. And now I'm gonna add my libraries back in. Um, I'm also looking at the question that Michelle has. And she says, I recall hearing that the cerebellum needs to be clear to run into the body. Um, I'm not, I think you may have a typo or I'm not. I. You mean the cerebellum needs to be clear in order for the body to accept the frequencies? Um, and no, I'm not, uh, I, I'm not familiar with that, that might, maybe someone has um, seen that to be true in their work. I haven't seen that because I don't clear everybody's cerebellum all the time before I, I run, um, before I run frequencies and people have had um, success and good um, results. Um, and I'm not sure. I think um, 
Claire, were you responding to Michelle here? That was one that was a pain previous. I'm, I'm not clear on what you're mentioning there, but yeah. um, what happened? Oh, you, yeah, no worries. Okay. Um, so now what do you do when you have a lot of items in the, with the, um, custom library? So what do you do with it? So let's just see if I added all my blue items now, <laughs> I have 33,000 items. There is no way that I can, I would even know where, I mean, I could start counting and adding them. I was thinking maybe it was, if it was less, I could, if you went into the main whole tray, you could work with just the lows. Um, so, 3,000 frequencies on you. I, but what I do want to see is maybe if I go to the lows, it's still going to be a ton. Like I can't even scroll through all these. Um, I don't even think I could deselect these fast enough to get, um, I mean, I'd be like deselecting so many. I don't think this is a good idea right now that I'm doing. I, I actually, I'm going to clear this because this doesn't, it's, not going to be helpful. I'm going to clear the main hole tray. I mean, at this point, you're better off just dragging and dropping like your top one. So we could do that. Just try to drag and drop. I should go down because we've already worked at the bottom 50 here. So let's just... So it's a little bit more tedious this way, but we are working with more of the blue items. I'm only on 19 filling the main hole tray. So I'll try dragging and dropping another. So if you have less than me, this is going to work um, a lot easier for you. Sorry, I'm not reading these out loud. But hopefully... Maybe these will also help um, with your fatigue and energy levels. Okay, we have 70. So, and there shouldn't be all the same seven, um, the same, there shouldn't be too much overlap, I hope, anyway. But so now we can go and hit play and begin. Now. How are you feeling? Are you feeling any shifts or any difference since we've been running these frequencies? Yeah, uh, my eyes are less tired. I'm, yeah, uh, I feel more energy. Great, great. So let's just continue with this. And again, I'll put run all of them for one minute and see how we do. And then we'll check out what your aura looks like and run some stabilizing and grounding frequencies for you.
So excellent, 44% rectification and you're within that 20%. So that is great. Um, I just wanted to answer Michelle's question. She said, doesn't the main whole tray allow you to select the top bottom, the top bottom 50? And the answer is yes. But I was just trying to work with the blues and I had 33,000 and I was just trying to, well, I didn't know there was going to be 33,000 in blues, but I wanted to try to get close to like maybe 200 blues across all um, the libraries that I have. It's just very tedious and you would have to count them going down. And for demo purposes, it's just not um, uh, as practical to do that. But again, if you don't have as many libraries as me, th maybe the top 50 and bottom 50 is all you need or you can expand then after that and, and count. But I had already worked with the top bottom and top 50, so I didn't want to work with them again um, when I just added these into the main whole tray. So I'm going to just go back now for a second, and I'm going to, let's look at your aura and see how much you can So you can see some of the, the paleness has gotten brighter. There is this outside is still stagnant and that's not such great energy. Like you want, you just want it to be brighter. Looking at the old version, you're seeing more color coming in, which is great. The corners seem to be, well, at least in the energy where it's coming in, the energy moves from left to right. As we're looking at the screen, since it's mirrored, it appears to be moving right to left, but it is the corners are filled. So you are more grounded right now than you were before. Again, these colors, I would want them to see a little bit brighter. They look dark. Um, so there's still probably stagnant energy and some negative energies that we could clear out from there. But just to end up now, what I would um, do to try to see if we can get any more, um, bring in some brightness in there is I just want to add in your neurotransmitters to the tray and we can add in, um, I'm just going to add in your brain anatomy and then I will go to the Alaskan, whoops, gem elixirs for stability and grounding and add the reds and the blues and maybe the greens too. And we can run these. And I'll select all for one minute. Is this making sense to everybody? I'm not working with it. I see some yeses, good. Right. I would also work on like digestion for you, but and hormones. That's all going to be, you know, helpful as part of weight loss. Um, also, the bio terrain. You have that bio terrain. Work with the bio terrain in there. That's all going to be. Those are all excellent things for you to work with.
Okay, 26% rectification again. I'd like to see higher, but we're getting close to the top of the hour. So let's just see what your aura looks like now. So what we're seeing is, okay, so we're seeing this is a really healthy, nice, bright, vibrant green. Um, this is a great pink color. As we're moving out, this is not so great out here. But again, that's out in time and space. Um, but, you know, you do want to work on that, basically. But it, it is looking, you know, this this bright colors are good in here. Um, the old version um, which again gives us different information. These lines are like programming lines and we do see some of this grayness coming in again, that could be some negative energies that we were seeing on the outside there. And you've, um, lifted, a, you're not fully in your body right now. So we can work on those some more, or maybe just take some of the, um, uh, just work with just the gems and not have the neurotransmitters and brain in there. And, or another thing you could always do is add the emotions and your flower essences and run them for, we can run those for 30 seconds. I realize I added all the emotions. I could have just added the reds and the blues. Um, but sometimes when I make a mistake like that or think I've made a mistake, I've actually made did it for a purpose. So I'll just leave it there. Okay, and great. 66% rectification. That looks great. And let's just see how that affected your aura now. Um, sometimes that red. Okay, so that's starting to look a little bit better. Again, this really bright green is a really healthy green. It still is blurry. It does look better than it just looked a minute ago. And again, you see this green coming and that's healing and, and it's filling the corners there. So that looks really great. How do you feel? Yeah, I feel great. Yeah, I feel so good right now. You feel like you're ready to work some more for the rest of the day? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I realized that I was, uh, while the um, frequency were sent, I was like yawning. I tend to yawn, to feel like yawning. And then, you know, it's like, uh, it's gone. But that's how I felt during the, it went like, Great. Yes. A, a yawning is also when I clear energy, I yawn when energy is clearing. So that's, that's a great sign. Sometimes it's a signal, like a yes answer to me, depending on, on what I'm doing, but, um, so great. I'm glad you are feeling better. Um, does anybody have any questions on how I ran this session today using, um, the general overview? Um, I'm happy to answer any questions if you have any. Otherwise, we can, if anybody has anything that they want me to work on next week, please feel free to put that in the chat as well. Um, if there's something that um, you're just not understanding and you want me to review, I feel like over the last few weeks, I've really um, gone through much of the, the genius and the different segments and trying to teach it. So I'm always... Um, 
I'm always open to hearing what you guys want me to work on and teach you a little bit more on. So always, you can always email me at Denise Arminio. I mean, I'm sorry, Denise at Inside Health Apps. And if you have any suggestions or you want to be a volunteer, if maybe you've been working on items on yourself and you're just not having any success clearing something, let me know. And if you know, you want to be a volunteer, I'd be happy to help you work on those items. So, and, oh, uh, Lisa's saying creating custom libraries. Okay, we can work on that. Um, that we can definitely work on that. We did work on that um, a couple of weeks ago. So you may want to look, yeah, you may want to look back in the replays see if that helps you. If you're still confused or have additional questions, we can work on that. It just, it doesn't take up much time really to work with that. So you might see everything that you need in there. You're welcome. So if there are no more questions, it's been another great Thursday afternoon with everybody. I always love seeing everybody and I look forward to seeing you next week. So um, and Marie, if you have any questions, again, I know you're a newbie and Jennifer um, is new to using the Genius too. So guys, please reach out. I'm happy to help <clears throat> questions. All right. It was great seeing everybody. Bye-bye now.